All right, this was a tricky one, especially in a, a Baptist student union, because I know how important you think evangelism is, and it is important, and I want to make sure I emphasize, I emphasize that right away. Um, so this is a strategic soapbox view of work. It's, it's the idea that Christians should work in secular jobs primarily as a strategy for evangelism. Okay? We can't all do what Bruce does. We can't all do what our pastors do. Can't be missionaries in the Congo. But we go to work, and at work, we're going to, like, we were in Campus Crusade when we went to college. And the idea was what? Share with everything that, li that moves, pretty much. But really share with the people who are the movers and shakers on campus, your, your jocks, your, you know, campus presidents, whatever. You know, move with the movers. They were always saying that. Yep, because, again, they were categorizing people in different categories. But it was all about evangelism. That's great if that's your gift. I'm not sure it's my gift, but um, it's an important thing. But that's not the primary reason we go to work, even though as spiritual as that sounds. Sherman and Hendricks point out the Great Commission is broader than evangelism. It's really about what? Making disciples. So it's not just getting them in. You know, it's, it's building them, building them from that point on. And life is broader than evangelism. There's all kinds of other spiritual gifts, other things that we can do in the church and outside the church to use our gifts for the cause of Christ. Work is more than just a platform. This is really important. The idea is that God expects every employee, this is from scripture here, Paul talks about this in Ephesians and a parallel passage there in Colossians. And we're going to talk about that more next week in depth about, the, uh, about that. But God expects every employee to serve his employer as if that employer were Christ himself. He's interested in the quality of our work. So in other words, you can't just, you know, evangelize you know, 40 hours a week. You've got to actually do something. And, and the quality of your work is going to speak loudly, which is what Titus 2, 9 and 10 say. Developing a good reputation of trustworthiness will make the gospel message attractive. And I think I've, um, I did, I held that place here somewhere. Uh, Titus 2, I can't read all the scriptures. There is about 60 scriptures in this presentation, uh, including the notes. Um, all right, so Titus 2, 9 and 10. Teach slaves, that's employees, right? To be subject to their masters, that's the employers, in everything. And to try to please them, not to talk back to them. And not to steal from them, but to show that they can be fully trusted so that in every way they make the teaching about God our Savior attractive. So really, you're sowing seeds when you're doing your job. And, and, and there will be opportunities to share the gospel. Because people are going to ask, why are you working so much harder than the next guy? And more harder than you have to. And, and, and uh, you know, most important thing we can tell a you know, worker is just to, to make, make good stuff and, ma and make a good reputation. Uh, m the professor uh, that I've been working with on this independent study, uh, he's a professor of systematic theology at Grand Rapids, uh, and he wrote a book, kind of an intriguing title, Becoming Worldly Saints, um, not of the world, but in the world, and, and how we can enjoy life, and that's a testimony. He says, uh, with regards to evangelism, a flourishing human life is the best advertisement for the gospel. 